Hey everybody, we're back. We're back. <laughs> I'm Tina. I'm Christine. We're the ladies of the Lanai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, we're back from vacation. Yeah. I was on vacation, you were on vacation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, we put out a few tapes where we were a little crackly, so hopefully we're not crackly. Hopefully we're not crackly anymore. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. We appreciate that. And uh, hopefully it wasn't a huge investment, but... Exactly. No, it wasn't. <laughs> They all look the same, but we also saw each other again this past weekend at the tree lighting mm -hmm. at um, Lake Sumter. Yes. And that was the first of the three yes. that we have going on. Yeah, three tree lightings in the three major centers, and it was really quite a show. Yes. It was not just a tree lighting, was it? No, there was... Yeah. Then there were vendors, there was Santa. Food trucks. Food trucks. Like a snow machine. Yeah, I had a friend and her family came from out of town. Um, well, not far out of town, but like 45 minutes away to see, and they said it was awesome. So it's people come from all around to see. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, the, the events that happen uh, inside the villages, like at the centers especially, they're not restricted just to villages, are they? No. No, you can you see families, yes. you see people on dates. Yes. Yeah, you can see that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's there's fun. there's one tonight that we're taping today. What is, day is today? Today is <laughs> Wednesday the 29th, and the one tonight is at Spanish Springs. I believe it's 4 to 9. Something like that, but they do it like obviously after it gets dark is when the tree lighting is, but they'll have the same kind of thing. I'm sure food trucks and vendors and a lot of uh, entertainment, yeah. carolers. Yes. Carolers were amazing. So yeah, that's Spanish Springs tonight. So. And then the last one. The last one is the fir the first, isn't that at Brownwood. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is this Friday, Friday, the yeah. first, four to nine. Yeah. Four I nine. won't be here. I'll be in New York for the weekend. I will be in Boston, okay. so but, but, the, but we'll you be will be there. <laughs> <laughs> so come and see it. Yeah, it's really worth it. Um, I also went to the new the new theater. Yeah, we talked weekend. about that a few times. Yes, and you finally got there. The under Epic theater, under Ep yeah, Epic. It's exactly the same. Nothing has changed except Lazy Max isn't there. Hmm. But so they haven't done whatever they're gonna do. Yeah, mm. and I think the price was the same. My my friend, our friend Nellie, she had bought the ticket before I got there, but I think it's the same right now. And then afterwards, we also tried out another deal. We went to Legacy Bar and Grill. We've been talking about that a few times. We yeah. have, yeah, we because about... we wanted to have a good burger, and it was a good burger. Yes, yep, it was. I mean, I've had it before, <laughs> so I'm glad you back up. Yeah, and we weren't. I hadn't been to the bar and grill there yet or before, but. We, it was rainy out, so we weren't sure if we could still go. But it is, part of it is covered. So you can go on a rainy day. Right, even if it's a pool bar, part yeah. of it is covered. Right. And right. just so you know, it's not where the restaurant is. You go past the Nancy Lopez restaurant, and you uh, just go a short distance over. To the right. Yes. Pass it, pass it on the right side. If you park where Nancy Lopez is, and then pat, walk to the right, and that's where the pool bar is. Yeah, it's yeah. by the tennis courts, so just, yeah. so if you're wondering. Yeah, because it's a little bit tucked away. Yeah. And then you were just telling me about some exciting new neighborhood. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's called the Enclave, and it is located down in the Sawgrass uh, Grove area, further south, uh, in, uh, in the village of Dabney, and it's a special area that is, they, they call it an enclave. It's a really good description. They're bringing back um, premier homes, which used to exist, then they stopped it, and now they're bringing it back. So these are designer homes, expanded home sites. Um, a lot of them are, are on the preserve, have preserved views. Mm -hmm. And what's truly also remarkable about it is, is that there's a long driveway, if you will, to get before you even get to it. Um, so it's pretty, um, and you and your, you and dancing. Paul went and took a sneak peek. We did. We drove through it all and <laughs> dreamt a little <laughs> because I maybe mean, next year, the home sites have a big premium. Just the home site is a big premium mm. and then you build the house, but it's for people who are looking for, you know, a really upgraded living experience. So, so sounds yeah. good to me. Yeah. Go check it out. Um, mm -hmm. And then we have some other upcoming events. There is a wine walk on December 15th at um, Lake Sumter. It's $50. I think it's pre-sale only. Yeah. I actually went to a wine walk 
at Spanish Springs. One of my friends was visiting from out of town from New York and we went and did it at Spanish Springs and it was fun. What is a wine walk? It's just basically there's different booths and like different rest. It's basically the restaurants in that area of that square. Mm -hmm. They have a booth. They have a, a glass or two of whatever wine that they're promoting or offering and then they have like a light bite like an hors d'oeuvre something oh, thing so it's like outside of the restaurant you even yeah. go in yeah it's on the square and so you just walk around the square and you eat and drink if you're going out <laughs> to dinner and we're going to have wine and dinner it would cost you 50 bucks easy yeah. so that's a whole fun experience but it's fun yeah, yeah it's a fun so i guess this time they're doing it at like sumter um, but I think you have to have a ticket before yep. you get there. I saw that. You do have to have a ticket. Yeah. We'll put the link down below. Yes. So that you, if they still have them by the time this airs, you can get a ticket. Yeah. Or two. And then um, there was a training going on. Yeah. I mean, if you watch the sport pool and you ever see the ball like popping out of <laughs> over the fence and you say, oh, I'd love to do the water volleyball. But it, you know, you're, it seems like a lot because you've never mm -hmm. done it or... Um, the good news is, is basic training at Izell Sports Pool, um, th it's Thursday the 1st. The first one is going to be Thursday. Yeah, first. I think it's the the first Thursday. Oh, the first Thursday of every month from 11 to 1, uh, 101 basic, 102 intermediate. We're going to double check that while we're reading this right now. Uh, <laughs> um, right. But anyway... Check out the Izell. We'll put the link down below, villagesvolleyball.com. Um, basic, intermediate, and advanced skills training at Colony Cottage as well. Uh, sports school Fridays, 3 to 5. But water water volleyball, I think, always looks so fun. So it does. In theory. But then I'm like, I wear jewelry, I, and I always think about... I'd have to take all my bracelets off. Yeah, you'd have to leave them home. I wouldn't... I, yeah, I wouldn't... I'd be afraid. <laughs> uh, you, know what, you know what keeps me away... Is your hair? My, I'm short. We're oh, both, I am and you're too. shorter yes. than me. I would be trying to jump out of the water. Yeah, the... I think it's a sport for people who are at least average to tall. Okay. Um, but you know, maybe we could start a short girl club. <laughs> there you go, short girl water volleyball. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then as we're approaching the holidays, um, the to help the Sumter Sheriff's Department, they have something going on there. Yeah, a bicycle donation. So Friday, December 1st, uh, 7 to 1 at Lake Miona at the Rec Pavilion. Um, if you have a bike that um, you'd yeah, like to donate, anymore. why yeah. not just donate it? And um, they go to help the residents. residents by providing bikes for children and sometimes transportation for adults who are working as well. Yeah, that's a good thing. And we'll put the email down below as to how you can donate if you have any questions. Okay. And then I had a very exciting uh, <laughs> encounter. You called me. <laughs> I did. I called, I called her from the parking lot. But um, I met a viewer at um, the Fleetwood Mac tribute concert and at the Savannah Center. And I was leaving with my friend at the end. Most of the people had left. And there was someone standing over there in a, uh, this lovely woman, beautiful woman, and her husband came over and she's like, are you ladies of the Lanai? And I was like, what? 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 <laughs> what? And she's like, I watch your shows and blah, 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 blah. And I think I was more excited than she was. I was like, oh my God, you made my day. No, you made my week. You made my month. month. Yeah. But um, they, they're from Kentucky. It was Trish. So hopefully Trish is watching. watching. And we did take a picture since we're not really uh, such good editors, or really, I'm not a very good editor. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. We're getting better, though. Um, I will put it on our Instagram page. Yeah. So if you are on Instagram, we're Ladies of the Lanai on mm -hmm. Instagram. You can find us there. Yeah. But um, but that was very exciting. So if you ever see us out. Yeah, don't be afraid to <laughs> come up and say, are you the Lady of the Lanai? Yeah. And we'll say, yeah. <laughs> so that was like a, a fun fun thing yeah um and then switching back to holiday events or sales yeah hobby lobby has a huge christmas sale 50 percent off everything christmas uh so that's a really good get it's uh till december the 2nd and if you don't know where hobby lobby is it's up in the northern area right on Right on 466, sort of over near where Walmart is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's still some of the local restaurants are doing the gift card promo. Panera is doing um, a $10 bonus card for every $50 you buy. The Suleiman Family Restaurants, which are Prima Steakhouse, the Havana Country Club, Legacy, Nancy 
Lopez. Yeah, some of my favorites. And the Legacy Bar and Grill. There, until the end of the year, December 31st, they're offering $25 back um, in a gift card for every $100 that you buy That's online. That's very generous. <clears throat> and then I guess they're also doing catering. So if you're, you're catering a holiday party or a family party, um, they're offering 25% off, but you have to use the code 25 off, and we'll link that down down below. Mm -hmm. And also Red Sauce, lastly, um, is still offering $20 for every $100 gift card. Um, so those are really good. Very nice. Savings. Yeah, anything, I think any, a good gift is anything that you can con consume. Yeah. You know, whether it's perfume or skincare or makeup or food. Anything <laughs> that you can consume. I think it's a really good gift. I really do. I do too. Or a ticket. Yes. Yeah, that's a good entertainment. Um, Club Pilates, which I, I do go to. I saw them post something really fun for the holidays that they were saying to their members that you, you can wear your favorite festive pajama to class. And they do have really early classes. Like, I think there might be a 6 a.m. There's definitely 7 a.m., which I think is a little too early for me. But I would be rolling out in pajamas. I don't know if you want to see me then. But um, so they're doing that. Um, and then also as we're approaching the end of the year, yeah, so every all the holiday isn't time to speeding up. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, um, we're going to come up with some more New Year's Eve, um, you know, um, events that we find, but the first one that we found was New Year's Eve, Jimmy Buffett tribute, which is so timely because we just lost him this year. Mm -hmm. Um, New Year's Eve, Sunday, December 31st, 830 to 1230 at Bell Glade. They do a lot of things at Bell Glade, mm -hmm. um, for Jimmy Buffett. Um, $99 per ticket includes buffet dinner, live band, and beverages are separate. So, yeah. I'm so sure there'll be a lot. You of probably have to, like, get on it. We're giving you, you that one now because we feel like that's going to go fast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then just some other fun holiday-ish things. Um, the Nancy Lopez Legacy, they always have, like, a paint and sip and cooking classes going on. And they're doing, like, holiday theme ones and... Um, they we thought they seemed like a good deal. We actually probably should go do one of we them. We should do one. Let's do, we should <laughs> and do, we can a record back girls night yes. out. I did. A, have you done a paint and sip? I did. No. I've done it with my girlfriends. I've never done York. it. I've never done it. It's fun. Yeah, because then you got that painting. And just I like left my look. painting there. Yeah, I've like, done it. Yeah, I've but done it twice. But for sixty dollars, <laughs> you get the activity. You get the paint. You get bottomless beer and wine, a ten dollar voucher for the next time you come. I so, think that's pretty good. It's a good girls' night. Yeah. Yeah, if you're looking for something to do with your girlfriends or yeah, um, other. And who doesn't like to paint and drink wine or beer or whatever you do, whatever you do? Absolutely. And the cooking class too. Same <laughs> idea, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I like that. I think they're more demonstrating than cooking, which is good for me. I don't really want to cook. Oh, yeah. I like to watch someone I else cook. cook. Okay. Do you like to clean? No. <laughs> no I'm a, I like I'm a baker. I, I would rather bake cookies or dessert or something like that. But okay. okay. <laughs> and then um, they're doing uh, another outdoor movie. You had actually gone with your husband. Yes, before. we had gone last year. We went to one. It was such a fun night. It really was. So um, you just go in your golf cart. You can bring your own like snacks or whatever you want. And um, you're outside in your golf cart, and there's this big screen up above you, and the big speakers are like out by the by the screen. You don't need to hook anything onto your golf cart, and it's it's a very fun night. And the first one you found that's coming up is um, Jingle All the Way, and that's Thursday. I got to look at my thing, December twenty first at Soaring Eagle Softball Complex, and you do need to sign up. It's free. You need to sign up. I believe it's district.gov yeah. is the site to sign up for that. And and um, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we also wanted to talk about music wise, there's mm -hmm. the acoustic series at Spanish Springs. I know they do it every so often. Yeah. Um, but I've never gone I've to one. I've never gone either, but it sounds like it's really nice because they're saying, you know, just stroll through the streets, do your shopping, and there's acoustic music playing about. So mm -hmm. it, it sounds like it's not like sit in the square and listen to it. It sounds like it's more like a atmosphere. Um, sounds really nice. But it's just for it's just for a few days from the 18th of December to the 22nd, 11 to 2, every day for five days. That sounds like fun. So that's in addition to the nightly yes, music. Yes, because it's 11 to 2 and the night music starts yeah. at 5. So while you're doing your holiday shopping, why not hear some yeah. awesome acoustic, acoustic, 
acoustic music, <laughs> music. And then um, lastly, we just wanted to talk about some of the different markets. Yeah, we've here. touched about it before, but I think a good explainer as to what the markets are, what the differences are between the different kind of markets that they have in the squares. So there's basically two different kinds, basically. One of them is the market nights. Right. And the other one is farmer's market. Yeah. So market nights. Um, I don't know if I've ever been to one, but they're oh, yeah. the first and third week of the month mm -hmm. from five to nine mm -hmm. at, the, at the squares. But Tuesdays is Spanish Springs town square mm -hmm. wednesday is like sumter mm -hmm. and thursday is brownwood and usually it's i think also in the entertainment catalog catalog calendar yeah it's on the entertainment <clears throat> catalog ca calendar as well yes yes, yes and they'll it put is. it in. and then the other kind of market is yeah it's the farmer's market so that's like more during during the daytime where that market I've gone to. Five to nine. yeah <laughs> and, and that's a little bit more food oriented yeah. and, and so they have the, they do have the crafts and but they also have food and like even like meat and fish and um, pies and cheeses and I've gone to the one at Brownwood and there's always a long line I think it's the seafood yeah person and I've heard it's good yeah I've heard it's very good he, he, and everything is in a big boat that's like iced <laughs> inside of it um, so that uh, th th those are more food oriented uh, for the most part and those are both nine to two on Saturdays and there's one at Brownwood like we mentioned and the other one is the new one they're calling it Mercado at Spanish Springs. Yeah, I want to check that out. Yeah, I haven't checked that out yet either. So those are the two farmers markets. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that that's it for this this edition. Yeah. 